Hi folks. Well, my oven broke down last week and we're getting our kitchen renovated this week so I wasn't in, in a hurry to repair the old oven. So I was looking for other ways to make my sourdough bread and I can't believe I haven't tried this out before but you can bake your sourdough bread in a slow cooker and this is how I did it. So I just started with a basic whole wheat um, sourdough dough. This one was one that I mixed in my stand mixer in the morning and um, bulk fermented through the day. So this is at the end of the bulk fermentation period. This is a 70% hydration dough which is a little bit less water in this dough than I would normally do but I find that that has worked the best with the slow cooker. The first loaf I made in the slow cooker was really a lot wetter, very high hydration and it didn't work as well because I had chia seeds in it and it was a bit gummy so this, this one turned out really good. So basically with this method it is so easy, you just shape your dough put it into the slow cooker cold and then turn it on and bake it so it proofs and bakes the dough all in one step. So I'm just giving this dough a really basic shaping um, and I'm just using some parchment paper or some non-stick baking paper to to put the, to use to, to put the bread on inside the slow cooker. You could also grease the inside of your slow cooker and, and you know use cooking spray or whatever kind of greasing method you normally do for bread um, loaves in a pan or cakes um, but I'm just using the non-stick baking paper in this instance. Um, just flattening out those creases to stop the 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 big creases putting dents into my final loaf. I think it looks nicer if you flatten those out. So this slow cooker is completely cold. You just put the bread in straight after shaping. No need to proof it at all. Um, put it into your slow cooker. Get it all set up. And it's a really easy method. You just basically turn it on and leave it for a few hours. <laughs> so you turn your cooker onto high. That's really important. You need that high heat. So just straight from cold, turn it straight onto high and then leave it. This is after one hour. You can see the bread has risen a bit. There's a bit of steam forming around the inside of the, the lid. Um, at this point, I decided to put a cloth cover over the, over the dough underneath the lid. I learnt this trick from a blog post I read somewhere. Um, and it's a really good way to catch the steam that comes off up off the loaf at which, and so the cloth collects the steam and stops it prevents it from um, running down back into the cooker and making your loaf damp. So this is the bread after two and a half hours and it's done. So your slow cooker might take a bit longer or a bit less amount of time on high but mine takes about two and a half hours. This is a fairly small cooker it fits this bread really well. And what you're looking out for when your bread is done, I actually did a skewer test like you would with the cake. So I put a skewer into the loaf and make sure it came out clean. But I also look for those brown edges. You can see see how the, the bottom and the sides are uh, I've got a nice brown colour to them. That's an indication that it's done as well. I also put this bread under the grill for 5 or 10 minutes or the broiler and that just... Um, browns the top a little bit. You don't have to brown the top but I think it makes it look a little bit nicer. Completely optional step though. So there's the bread done. It's amazingly easy. I can't believe I didn't try this years ago. It's a really good option if you don't have an oven but you'd still like to make bread. Um, or if your oven breaks down and you've got a slow cooker you can, you can continue to make your bread quite easily. And here's the finished loaf. Uh, I was going to say something about the flavour of this loaf. The flavour is great. The internal structure and flavour and texture is really, really good. Um, it is, remember, it is 100% whole wheat um, loaf. So it's denser than a refined flour loaf. But the crust flavour isn't as good as a, as a loaf that's baked in the oven. And that's because you don't get the complete caramelization of the crust with adds which adds a lot of flavor to a loaf of bread but you know if you want your bread done and it's it's easy and you don't have an oven then this is a great way to do it 
I wanted to show you these two. These are so this is a rye loaf that I made using this method, and it turned out really, really well as well. This was a hundred percent hydration rye because that's how I like to make them. It worked out really, really well. Thanks for watching, everyone. I hope you play around with this and try it out yourself. I'm sure you'll enjoy it.